Juicer provides an easy way to display social posts on a screen or on your website during a conference, fundraiser, or hashtag campaign. In this video, we'll show you the key steps to set up your Juicer feed for a live event. At the end, we'll discuss plan options and a few other important things to know. As always, let's first define our terminology. When we say feed, we're referring to the wall or grid of social posts, like shown here on the right. When we say sources, we're referring to the specific hashtags or social accounts that you display within the feed. These are listed under the social media sources area of your dashboard. Finally, when we refer to the update frequency, we're talking about how frequently your feed will refresh with the latest posts, which varies by plan level. During live events or campaigns, you will likely want to create a hashtag that your event attendees can include in their posts. This way, their post can be pulled into your juicer feed and displayed on screen. Start by choosing a social network that your attendees will be frequently posting to. Select the hashtag option and enter your event hashtag. Juicer will now display posts that contain your event hashtag. New hashtag posts will be continuously pulled into your Juicer feed. This will not happen in real time, but at a set update frequency that depends on your plan level. You may want to manually choose which hashtag posts appear, so you can block all unwanted content. If that's the case, simply click the Moderate and Filter panel from your Juicer dashboard and select Send All Posts to Moderation. If you'd like to start with your feed empty, make sure you apply this change to existing posts when prompted. Now, all new posts that contain your hashtag will go directly into your Moderated Posts area where they await your approval. Just click Approve on any post and it will immediately be moved into your live display. If you'd rather automate the filtering, there are built-in ways to do that as well, located in the Moderate and Filter panel. Next, click the Feed Settings panel on your Juicer dashboard and click the checkbox labeled Auto Refresh for Live Events. With this enabled, the page that contains your feed will automatically refresh at the same rate as your update frequency. This ensures that the newest posts are always displayed on screen. With this enabled, your Juicer dashboard will also automatically refresh at your regular update frequency. This way, you don't need to continuously refresh your browser manually to see the newest posts within your dashboard. Click the pencil icon in the upper left corner of your Juicer dashboard and you can change the name of your Juicer feed. This name will be listed above your feed on screen, so it's wise to include your event hashtag in the name. Finally, Click the Share Your Feed panel on the Juicer dashboard, copy the link, and paste it into your browser. This will display your feed full screen. You will want to display this in the browser that is shown on screen at your event. The Auto Refresh feature, mentioned in the previous step, works best at this dedicated URL. 
You are now ready to display Juicer during your live event. You can also make changes to your feed's styling and a few other options before going live. If you haven't yet purchased a Juicer plan, keep in mind that you will want a fast update frequency for your feed. This way, the posts that your attendees make will appear more quickly on screen. The best options are our large level plan, which has an update frequency of once every 10 minutes, our campaign level plan, which has an update frequency of once per minute, and our enterprise plan, which allows you to change the update frequency for any of your feeds at any time, to as fast as once per minute or as slowly as once per day. Generally, the campaign plan is the best value for a single event where the fastest updates are necessary. Juicer recommends that you test your feed prior to your event, preferably using the internet connection you will have on hand when it's taking place. This will help you ensure it's working the way that you need. If during your event you come across a post on Instagram or Twitter that you can't seem to find in your feed or in your moderated posts, simply click Add Post Manually for a source from that social network. You can then paste in the URL of a post, and the post will bypass your moderation filter and go directly into your public display. Finally, please remember that Juicer has certain limitations for obtaining hashtag posts. Facebook hashtags are not compatible with social aggregators like Juicer. Juicer will pull in a certain number of posts from each of your sources at every update. This is about 33 posts for an Instagram source and between 50 and 100 from a Twitter source. So posts from extremely high volume hashtags may not reach your Juicer feed, but you can always manually add posts if you need to. Finally, Juicer may not be able to obtain all the posts that contain your hashtag due to what is made available to us by each social network. For example, Juicer cannot display posts made by private accounts. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your event.